Hi guys, welcome back. So today I will be testing out the It Cosmetics Your Skin Bit Better CC Cream Illumination. I've been using their original CC Cream formula for a few years now and it's one of my favorite foundations that I use regularly. Um, so I was really excited to try out the Illumination formula to see if it can work for me as well. So this is the information on It Cosmetics website. You get 1.8 fluid ounces and it retails for $38. There are seven shades available, which isn't great, but it's a step up. There used to be only five shades available. Um, so IT Cosmetics is expanding their shade range, but it's not nearly where it needs to be. So the claims on the website are that it delivers seven products all in one. It's a full coverage foundation, SPF 50, UVA, UVB, broad spectrum, physical sunscreen, brightening color corrector, anti-aging serum, pore minimizing primer, dark spot corrector, moisturizing day cream. Okay, those are a lot of claims. So if you want to know what I think of IT Cosmetics, Your Skin But Better CC Cream Illumination, don't go anywhere, just keep watching. So I've already washed my face, but I've decided not to prime or moisturize it. And the reason being, the claims on the website are that it replaces both your moisturizing cream and your serum and your primer. So um, I'm going to try this without the moisturizer or the primer and see how it works for me. So I did a swatch test of the IT Cosmetics Illumination CC Cream Formula beside the original IT Cosmetics CC Cream Formula. As you can see, there is a significant shade difference between the two, so that's just something to be aware of if you're thinking about purchasing this product. So I'm going to go in and do half my face with a sponge, and the other half with the Heavenly Luxe Foundation Brush from IT Cosmetics. I don't know how it's applying. <laughs> it is going on actually quite light. You know, the shade is looking really light on my face, but you know, I'm not too concerned because it's slightly oxidizing on my hand. So I'm hoping once it oxidizes a little bit, it blends a bit more because right now I am looking super pale. I bought the shade light because um, I have the original CC cream formula in light but it's also a little dark for me. So I usually have to use a lightener. I have a tube of light and I have a tube of fair and I usually have to blend the two together to get the perfect match for me. So I'm hoping because this looks like it's oxidizing on my hand a little bit that it blends a little bit more with my skin tone. Okay, the coverage is looking about medium. I mean, I have some melasma coming in through there and I still see some of my freckles, but um, it's not bad. It's sitting really well on my skin and I don't see any dry patches being highlighted. I'm gonna go in with the brush and see, see what happens. So I'm gonna go in and do my other half with a brush. So it, the coverage is actually better with the brush. Slightly more so. I mean, I can hardly see my freckles coming through right there. And again, melasma under my eyes is being covered up really well. I probably could only get away with putting a little tiny bit of concealer in the inner corners of my eyes because I have, I have super dark circles. But as far as coverage goes with the brush, it's looking really nice. Actually, they both look really nice. It really depends on the type of coverage you're going for. If you're looking for light to medium coverage, I would stick to the sponge. If you were looking for a little bit more, I would use the brush. I think I'm going to finish up with the brush today. I like the coverage on both. It really just depends what you're going for. Um, for me today, I'm just having one of those days where I feel like I need a little bit more help. The good news is it is darkening a little bit on my skin, so it does oxidize. That is something to be aware of, but it's not like crazy oxidizing. <laughs> it's not like I have to worry about looking bronzed and like the e.l.f. foundation. And I think it's because anything, I find anything that has a sunscreen in it um, will oxidize on my face slightly either slightly or extremely. Okay. Let's have a look at this. 
Okay, so the foundation is starting to darken a little bit, um, which I'm happy about. I was worried about looking a little bit too pale, but it's actually starting to blend with my skin tone. I'm praying to God it doesn't get any darker than this. There's also no settling into any of the fine lines, which I'm really pleased with. Um, none of my dry patches are showing up, uh, and there's no caking in the inner corner of my eyes. Some of the complaints online um, have been that this foundation is too glittery. I don't see any evidence of glitter, but that's just something you might be aware of. But I think right now it's very wearable. So I'm not gonna powder my face today. Um, this has a satin finish to it, and plus I wanna see how it wears through the day on its own. So I am going to put on the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. So it's 10.23. Um, so far the foundation is looking okay. The color has oxidized a little, but it's basically my skin tone. So I'm okay with that. Um, I'm rethinking my idea of not wearing a primer or a moisturizer because my forehead is looking really, really dry. Like, um, because you can see that I have this line going across my forehead. Normally, it's not <laughs> as prominent as it is today, but I think because this has a bit of a sheen to it, and plus I didn't use a moisturizer or a primer for some reason, it's accentuated. My eye area is looking okay. There's no creasing. The one thing that's going on though, and I'm not sure if it's the foundation or if it's the concealer mixed with the foundation, but right in the inner corner of my eyes where I put a little bit of concealer is a big old mess. It, there are dry patches that are showing up. There is a little bit of cakiness going on there. I tried to thin it out, but this is the best I can do. But right in here is just a big old mess. Um, so it is what it is. I'm beginning to think that the CC cream isn't really meant to be worn with concealer. Maybe for some people it could, but for myself, it probably wasn't the best idea in the world. And I'm actually regretting my decision not to moisturize my skin before I put this on because, um, I don't know, I'm, I'm just noticing some texture on my forehead that I normally don't see when I moisturize my face. But um, it is what it is, I can't go back now, so um, I will check in with you guys a little later on and let you know how this foundation is wearing the rest of the day. So it is 3.43, the foundation has been on my skin for five hours now. Um, overall it's been not good. <laughs> God. Um, it's okay. Um, when I first decided to test this foundation, I wanted to test out the claims that um, it can replace your primer, your moisturizer, um, your serums, whatever. So I purposely did not put a moisturizer on my face this morning. And these claims could be true. If you have oily skin, if you have combination skin, or if you have even normal skin, you could get away with probably just using the CC cream and not using a moisturizer or a primer. However, if you have dry skin, such as myself, don't do it. Don't do it. Or you will be in the mess that I am in right now. Okay, let's talk about what I like before I start. I'm not gonna rip this foundation apart because I am not done testing it yet. I tested it under the circumstances that I wanted to test it in, but I'm gonna continue playing around with it and I'm going to try it with a moisturizer and I'm going to try it with a primer. That being said, if you have dry skin, whatever you do, do not do what I did. Otherwise, you will be in the situation that you will just not, you will be in a situation that you will just not wanna be in. So let's talk about what I like. The color is really, nice. It oxidized a little but into a tone that blends well with my skin so that works it works okay. The longevity is beautiful it's been five hours and it's still holding up really strong. It's not caking at all which is great. Um, my nose isn't shiny at all like I mean there's a little bit here but I didn't set it with a powder so I mean I'm really happy with the results of that and my forehead isn't shiny at all so 
that's an added bonus. Um, it's not creasing in my eyes. So those are the things that I like about it. Now, what I don't like about it pretty much is because of the lack of moisture on my skin. I am dying here. <laughs> oh my God. There is a massive dry patch going across my forehead and I don't know if you can see but I have a fine line that goes across there and most of the time it isn't magnified it's just it's there in the background but it's not prominent I don't know it just looks like it's magnified it looks like the bloody Grand Canyon going across my forehead again I'm being overly dramatic but I just I can't help but notice it um my skin from here all the way down is super, super dry. It's un almost uncomfortably so. I mean, I'm really regretting not moisturizing my face this morning. I mean, it's not, I'm not having an allergic reaction to it or anything. It's just my, it just feels really uncomfortable. Like I can't wait to get this stuff off of me. I'm gonna continue to test this out. I'm gonna test it out with moisturizer and I'm gonna test it out with primer. But right now, it is not looking too good. If you have dry skin, do not do what I did. Do not, or you will be in a pickle. <laughs> and it started doing this probably within the first hour after I had it on. Oh, it's not a comfortable experience. The only comparison I have is, you know, in the winter time when there's just not a lot of moisture in the air and you just, you feel dryness everywhere. That's what it feels like. That's my five hour check-in result so far. Again, I'm not giving up on this. I just really am regretting not moisturizing my face this morning. So that's my update. Those are my results so far and I will check in with you guys later on and let you know how the foundation held up the rest of the day. So the time check is 8.30. The foundation has been on my face for 10 hours. Ugh. So the color is still holding up strong, which is amazing considering it's been on my face for 10 hours and I didn't use a setting powder, I didn't use a primer, and I didn't use a moisturizer. There's no shining on my nose and there's no shining on my forehead. Um, it's not settling into any of my fine lines and there's no creasing there either, which I'm really happy about. My skin has only gotten drier since the five hour check-in. The only way to describe how my skin feels right now is that feeling um, right after you put a mud mask on your face and then it dries, except in this case, I've had it on my skin for 10 hours. So the claims that this product um, replaces both your moisturizer and your primer could possibly be true if you have oily or combination or normal skin. I would not recommend skipping the moisturizer if you have dry skin. It's not a total dud, it's just for dry skin. I used it completely incorrectly. I'm gonna keep playing around with it. I'm gonna use a moisturizer and I might even use a primer with it. I've used the original CC cream formula consistently for two years and I've never had an issue, but I always use a primer in the winter time. And then the summertime, I can get away with just using a moisturizer. I wanted to test out what the product claimed and I'm not saying that they're wrong. I'm just saying for my skin, it didn't work out. My skin from here down just feels really uncomfortable right now. It's just not a fun feeling. Um, so after I'm done filming this, I'm lucky I live right behind a drugstore. So I'm gonna head on over there and buy a hydrating mask for my poor skin. So those are my thoughts on the It Cosmetics Your Skin Fit Better CC Cream Illumination. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you'd like to see more videos like this, and I will see you next time. Bye!